will be um, doing collision detection between the alien and the missile. And when the missile touches the alien, we will destroy it and then respawn a new one to get a new alien showing up. So this is where we were last time. Where we had our alien show up and we can fire at it, but nothing happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some collision detection between the alien and the missile group. And we're going to use a um, chunk of code that is um, a little different from what we've been doing. Inside um, one of the calls, I'm actually going to place a function inside of a statement, which is kind of unusual, um, but actually is pretty common in JavaScript these days. So under um, create, we're going to add a physics collider. So we can add this physics collider, which looks something like this. Get rid of that extra comment. So physics.add.collider, and this collider takes um, two parameters, and it's the two things that you're checking against. And what we're going to be checking against is the missile group and the alien group. So any missile touching any alien. And if that does happen, what we're going to do is we're going to call a function. And we're going to define the function right here. Um, this function is going to have two parameters. And it's going to be the two items in that group that collided. And um, Phaser gives us access to those. And I'm just going to call it a missile and an alien that collided. And as normal, once we have that, then we open up our braces and we write the function in here. So it seems a little odd, but inside, whenever one missile from the group touches one alien, then this function is going to occur and we grab the two items that collided and whatever we want to happen, we're going to put in here. So that's what we're going to do. The first thing that we're going to do is actually just take the both of the items and we're going to destroy them because they touched each other so we should get rid of them. So the alien thing that we have access to we're going to um, do a property called destroy or a method sorry and the missile collide we are going to do the same thing we're just going to destroy it. And the last bit of sort of trickery that we're going to do here is we're going to add right here this dot bind. And what we're binding is to this. And remember that this refers to, in our case, our class. So right here. Um, so what should happen is if any missile in the group touches any alien in the alien group, then this function that we're defining right here should be triggered. We get access to the two items that have collided, and then we just take the two items and we destroy them. So this, for some reason, it doesn't always work in phaser. So if it doesn't work the first time, don't be too upset. Um, it seems to work better if you shoot the alien right near the top before it st sort of starts to speed up. And of course the first time, there it goes, second time it worked. So I am not sure why sometimes it doesn't do that. If anyone has a suggestion and can fix that problem for me, I would love some feedback. So there you go again, and this time it took three. So, it, it seems to work better the more often you hit the aliens. And once again, 
I'm not quite sure why it doesn't just work every single time. Once we do have the aliens um, being detected and destroyed, what we'd like to do next is actually recreate the alien. And in my game logic, what's going to happen is you actually create two aliens for every single one that you destroy. So the more you destroy, the more aliens show up, and it just sort of gets exponentially more complex to keep shooting them over and over again. So there's one, and you'll see two showed up when I hit one. Two more show up, and it should just get more and more complex here. As you see, lots of aliens start showing up really quickly. Um, okay, so now that we have the aliens destroyed, it would also be really nice if we could make a little sound happen. So we have this explosion um, sound file that we're going to add. And if you look at the assets, actually, before we add the explosion, we need to have access to it. So if you remember, up here, we had the sound file for the lasers. So we're just going to add in and have this barrel explosion sound happen every time the alien touches um, a missile. So this is what it should sound like. So let's try that now. That's how you make the aliens start showing up more and more from the top of your screen. Next time what we're going to do is um, make it so that we can keep track of our score.